This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Well, Suge Knight details uh, everything with like Snoop and Tupac on Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast. Now, I listened to some of this and I was like, geez, Suge Knight's talking a little bit too much because when he's talking about the Snoop trial, right, he's talking about how they beat the case. Uh, Apparently, like Snoop had a 380 and the, the bodyguard had a, a nine millimeter. And he said nah, uh, the lawyers didn't think they could beat the case. But then Shook was like, nah, the, the bodyguard will say he had a uh, 380 and Snoop had a nine millimeter shooting 380 bullets, right? And I was like, whoa, you know, that's a little crazy, bro. Like, you're talking too much about the case <laughs> that Snoop beat. And but Snoop, I mean, the thing I do respect is Suge Knight put his whole company on the line. He borrowed five million dollars from Universal and told them if he blows the case, you can take my company. You know, like he was at risk of losing his whole company. Of course, he made that money back when Snoop Dogg beat the trial and they dropped the album. Right. Um, or like, you know, simultaneously at the same time, you know, but uh then you know he details how he got Pac. We already know the story how he got Pac out of prison and everything. Nobody else wanted to touch Pac and you know all that kind of stuff. Uh, but what I gotta think about is like, geez, this guy like ran somebody over savagely and killed him. Like he went to uh, the NWA uh, straight out of Compton movie and like started trouble. And this is why uh, Dr. Dre and them like just. Like, Suge Knight says nobody will, like, mess with him in the industry because of this and that. No, it's because, like, you were a bully at one point. Like, you just, the whole, like, as smart as, as smart as Suge Knight was, he got lost in the whole bullying, like, gang life, you know, and kind of, like, lost his whole company and kind of got tricked out of his own position trying to play this other role instead of being an executive, and, you know, think about it, like, Snoop, even though Snoop salutes him to this day because he probably wouldn't have beat that trial and a bunch of other stuff, there was a lot of tension between Snoop and, uh, like, the way Suge was running the business made, you know, Dr. Dre and his biggest rappers want to leave, you know? As much as a movement they started, they they destroyed themselves. I mean, well, Suge Knight really destroyed the company, his own company. Um, and then, you know, he savagely ran that guy over, you know, just so much stuff. Now, what I did get from this is that how much Suge Knight really is petty because he really does not like WAC 100. WAC 100, when he went to the straight to the podcast where they had, uh, static with WAC 100 <laughs> over the Meek Mill stuff. And, you know, WAC 100 went on a million dollars with the game and they had some static. And Suge Knight made sure he went to this podcast to specifically talk about all this stuff. Which tells me he's real petty and really wants to get under WAC 100's skin. Because, you know, he was talking about, oh, you know, WAC 100's just out here just insulting people now. And, you know, just trying to get his clout up, you know. And this guy was just, you know, around, you know, I don't know. You know it's like they, they have their own beats. We, we kind of broke this down before. But, um... Also, another news, Kanye West, he moves directly across the street from his old house with Kim Kardashian. I guess probably so he could be closer to his kids. People were thinking it's petty to get back with Kim and all this stuff. But, you know, really think about it. He has four children with Kim. You know, he wants to be closer to his kids, right? People think, you know, other stuff. You know, she and, and who knows if the Pete Davidson thing is real, you know? That could just be for the Hulu show that they got coming out. They, you, they need drama to sell uh, the series. They completed their contract with E and moved on with Hulu and got a huge bag, you know? So they got they got to sell it, you know? And what sells anything better than drama? I mean, look, Tristan Thompson gives Chloe plenty of drama to deal with. We got... The, there's always drama with these, you know, like, and some of it just happens, like the Travis Scott thing with Kylie. There's just so much stuff, you know. Then you got uh, uh, Courtney; she's getting married to Travis uh, Barker. 
And then you got kind of like Kim like pretending like she wants to have that same type of life with Pete Davidson. I don't know. It's just it's a spooky situation, man. But uh, that's what's going on there. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. There's the house he bought. So, you know, four or five million dollars. Dropped it real quick to live across from his $30 million mansion that he built. Maybe $60 million. I can't remember how much it is. But uh, anyways, I appreciate you guys. And I wonder if they're going to detail those details in the 50 Cent Snoop Dogg uh, Murder Was the Case uh, little four-part series. I think they're doing a four-part series on that. It'll be interesting. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I'll check you guys on the next one. Peace.